And there we go. Oh, that was one direct hit, but not enough to kill. Two direct hits, and we get a kill. Can't even see them. And there we go. Now we just advance the time along. Just take it, with battleships you always take it easy, you don't want to rush these things because the number of aliens that can be around, especially a landed one, I mean I think it's somewhere up to like 10, 15 aliens, and also if you're dealing with psychic, if you were dealing with psychic ones, you'd have to have innumerable assaults all over the place, so I mean, you can expect to find a lot of A lot of enemies outside waiting for you. So we re required that alien. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice our panic unit because backstabber is just no good. Now one of the things is if you do use your lesser people to do the panics first before moving up with the more successful mind controllers it gives you a chance to practice and if for some reason your main mind control doesn't work you may have actually ended up panicking the unit anyway so it's not always a bad thing to skip the mind control straight away and just go for a load of panic units it means everybody gets a bit more of a chance to practice so as you can see, the alien has managed to kill everything over there. We are just going to double check, because you never know. We're going to start preparing for our assault, but what we are going to do is we're going to use this alien. And there you go, we can see our next potential target. So we use the mind probe and just double check. It's only an engineer. So it's worth taking a few pot shots. Chances of succeeding. No, no line of fire. Now one of the things as you can see, you can't actually go into the inventory of the aliens. So what we're going to do is we're going to come outside and just wait. Now we've got a bit of time, we are going to move our flying soldiers off towards the spaceship because it's about time they start getting some practice. Now we could control potentially the engineer. So it's worth a shot, the engineer was around here and we get another mind control. Oh, and it's a fusion bomb. Well, what we're going to do is we're actually going to fire off that. We're going to fire it off down into there. Probably won't kill anything except for that Reaper. And then we're going to ditch this. you mean not enough time units oh but yes it was unlikely we have killed would have killed much else because the commander is usually further up but the key thing is is I can't afford to lose anyone so they're just going to, if we do potentially lose someone, we potentially lose someone. Sometimes you just have to make the call. It all depends is, is who you've got worth it? And at the moment, all my best psychics are worth it because they're kind of the only psychics we have. Now... Well, there was another one. That's why I was trying to get that other f uh, floating ship around. And that's why you can't really be cautious. Uh, why well, you have to be cautious. Because they're just 
could just still be with them and still floating around and that's why I'm generally trying to keep most of my people away from the front lines at the moment so we know that there's at least one around here and we know who that one is so what we need to do is first find out who this new one is probably going to be a soldier yep so nothing we have to worry about what we will do though is we will try and give Hawkeye some practice always worth trying to keep up the skills get a kill here kill there and you build up enough experience points over a while to become incredibly skilled I mean, that's probably all that Hawkeye now needs to do you generally can't build up that many skill points in a single session about one kill generally though it gives you about the maximum skill gain aha and there's still another one over there so we go back and then we go down and we scan this one it's a navigator not too worried it's only a navigator now what we might be able to do so this range I think we can we might not be able to shoot directly but we could probably try and shoot out this door if we aim for the door there's a chance that we'll hit get too wow that was massively off target we might be able to hit the door and then shoot the next shot shoot past them as you can see if we do another direct shot along that path and it there's a chance ah oh, just missed but then it does open it up so we can actually take an actual shot at it and then hopefully Sergeant Blank will take it down now he's sufficiently unskilled that uh, just giving him a little extra chance to pick up some more skill points is not necessarily a bad thing now we need to try we're going to try mind control again not counting on it but we're going to give it one try here if that doesn't work we'll back it up with a panic unit and then we'll do a little move out now even though earlier I said about just trying with panics first because of the particularly tight situation we're in at the moment I'm trying to reserve as much as possible for actual mind controls Because the more mind controls we can get in, the more of these creatures we can find out where they are and limit the number of potential exposures to things like blaster bombs as possible. Now, as you can see, we don't have anything more here we can do, so we're actually going to get rid of this and go try and make ourselves a target the soldier isn't can't do much but he's gonna sit there and she's gonna move one further forward because we're gonna bring up this I'm gonna park it just behind and the rest of the people are just going to kind of stay still we're gonna have another mine gonna have a go at mind control this is a guy with 21 psychic ability chances are he's never gonna make it right that's kind of it for the time being don't want to push too far as you can see we're not seeing anything at the moment that means there is still quite a few aliens out there that we don't know where they are what they're doing or what's going on I mean, there's still some of that building that's unexplored and 
There's all sorts of potential hazards just all over the place. Right, but it is now time to start bringing out some more of the units. And because we're starting to get closer, we're going to spread out just a little bit. Just reduces our risks. Now in Terror from the Deep, you'd be even more cautious than this. Because again, the chances of actually getting controlled and... Not well, having grenades land on you, it's just so much greater that you just never really want to take the risk. And you still try and keep with a buddy system. A buddy system works incredibly well. It means that you usually have somebody around to back up. For instance, you move too far. You can't have just seen a creature. So it gives you that opportunity to actually do something about it. Now we're going to take, try and take in a shot at this one. No. Right, okay. We're going to go up and we're going to start having a look around. We can't see anything else at the moment. But we do see them. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a mine probe on this one. It's, guess what, another soldier. And we're going to mind control them. Or at least that is the theory. And yes, this is now kind of becomes the standard way of doing things because it's just a lot safer all told. So what we now do is we use them to start exploring some of these chambers and just kind of flushing out where various of the floaters may be. But we can't kind of leave them hanging around, so we also use the others to execute those that we no longer need. Because at the most we can really manage is two. More than that, and it causes an issue. Right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this window. Just keep an eye out. Hover tank will move in in preparation. This hover tank now needs to come down and actually just check out this building. What we are going to do is also blow open a hole here. So we can actually enter and have a look properly. There's not a whole lot we can do. We'll just kind of get him moving up a little bit. Using the last of his 10 movement points. Well, that certainly was going a lot quicker. It means that we are now starting to have an effect. Now, as you can see, we can see the first alien. So we now need to go back to our decent psychic. And we repeat the process. Yes, it does get a bit boring. It does get a bit repetitive. And this was kind of one of the broken parts of the game. In fact, they let, oh my word, he actually passed. My word, that alien made two psychic defenses. We may actually have to try and kill them. Don't hold up much help for these ones. No. Well, I suppose a shot here it is then. And then we move up and we shoot the last one. Because we really can't afford to have ones that we can't control hovering around. No pun intended. Now it is time to start making a move towards 
the ship. And the biggest one that we need to make sure is moving towards is the guy with the stun bomb. Because if there is a crew commander on board, we want to capture them. Now the hidden movement, if it is fairly quick, which will happen any time about now, yes, that means we are very much getting uh, towards the end. Now I'm just blasting away here because sometimes they can hide just around the corner, just out of sight. We're not going to move our psychics. Don't really need them to pick up experience points at the moment. But again, we do need to get these guys moving forwards. We are going to take a quick look down this ruined area to see what we can see. As it was destroyed, we might as well take advantage of the view. As it happens, there's nothing to see, and it's all going to be upstairs. <laughs> 